guardians. We are the intruders here. How's it going, Guardians? This is Chit, and welcome to Destiny Chit Chat. What you have just seen is a quick preview of the April 12th update. They have revealed the new max light level, so place your bets. The max light level is now going to be 335. They are also revamping an old strike. Remember the Archon Priest Winter's Run way back in the day? Well, he gets a new taken look. I mean, he looks straight badass. The idea for this update is that even though Oryx has been killed, the Taken are still overrunning everything. So that's why they're revamping the Winter's Run strike. They're also adding the new Blighted Chalice strike, and they have revealed what the boss actually looks like. I don't know who this guy is, but he's pretty scary looking. As you can see, there's also some new armor. It appears that the Hunter now has the Taken Shader, which could also be armor. It could be tied to the armor, who knows. You also have new Titan and Warlock armor where they appear to have light emitting from joints and certain cracks in the armor. It looks simply amazing, guys. The overall discussion of this stream was the fact that they are bringing back the Prison of Elders. I know what you're thinking. Why would they do such a thing? They should leave it in the dirt where it belongs. But they actually are making some interesting changes. Something that I've thought about for a while was that I think strikes would be a lot more fun if there was like leaderboards to keep track of a team's score throughout the entire encounter and something like a timed trials where you have a certain amount of time or just keep track of the fastest time for people to beat. And they're implementing both of these concepts in unique ways. Varrick's will now have his own scorecard, very similar to the Trials of Osiris, where every week you have one week to complete this scorecard. There will be a high score that you have to complete and an overall cumulative score. If you finish these, you will be granted rewards. If you complete the high score, you get a new, brand new weapon. If you complete the cumulative one, brand new armor. The interesting element about this is that after five minutes, Varix will start taking away from your overall score. So it adds this sense of urgency that is just really going to be exciting to try out and yell at your friends for taking too long or not doing enough damage on the boss or whatever it is. It did seem, however, at the end of the encounter, there was no treasure room though. They took us straight to orbit. But then, they went to Varix and they received their weapons reward, which is the brand new sniper rifle, Her Fury. Which has the same body style as the current uh, PvP vendor, the Tao Wan Wan, I think it is. It's the same body type, but it has the impact of the Herb Benevolence. This is brand new guys, and it appears it has the infusion node. So even if you're not liking the new sniper, you can infuse it into a thousand yard stare per se. Now unfortunately, they did not show what these two brand new nodes are and what they do, but if I had to guess, I have no idea. <laughs> I really couldn't even guess at what those would do. Maybe something that has to do with re-rolling, but um, I don't think Bungie's trying to bring that back because there was a lot of like slot machine gameplay that they didn't want. And finally, they didn't talk about it, but it is revealed that you can see here a warlock is rocking a Taken shotgun. Now at first glance, I thought this might be like a, some new weapon shaders that they're going to be applying to the game, but the body of the shotgun is pretty unique. It's nothing that we've seen before, so I think this is a Taken specific weapon along with the brand new Taken sword that the Titan is wielding. You can see that the blade is very wiggly and there's purple void type energy coming out of it, but it's not quite void, it's more like space. This is probably going to be the number one thing that I'm going to be chasing in this new update. So did you guys see the stream? 
what do you think about this update? I think they were careful not to actually give it an official name, like Taken King 2 or whatever, because they didn't want to build up too much hype, because they really, for the most part, this update is mostly, so far, appearing to just be bringing back old stuff, old content. You got Prison of Elders, we got a brand new uh, Winter's Run revamp, and a new strike, which is brand new, but it's still a strike, it's not a raid. So I think they're very careful with how they were calling this. But next week they're going to show us some of the things that we can earn with this update, and I really hope they go over the Taken Sword and the Taken Shotgun. I'm really excited about that. Well that's all for today guys, if you enjoyed the video be sure to share, like, and subscribe to my channel for more Destiny content. My name is Chit, and I approve this message.